Hey everybody, it's Tim from God, Guns, and Good Times. Hey guys, this is um, a video that I really didn't plan on doing, but I watched something that was pretty disturbing on YouTube um, from one of my uh, one of the people that I subscribe to. Uh, and what I will do is I'll put a link in the description to this little uh, video response, if you will. And I'd like you, if you want to take the time and watch this video and hear my opinion on the subject, um, I would love for you to comment on my video to tell me what you think about what I'm saying. But also, please watch his video as well so you can get the real detail and the context of what kind of irks me about what I heard. And the topic of the video, really, the video response, it's about concealed weapons carry, con carrying a concealed weapon on a daily basis. Whether that weapon is a, a handgun or whether that weapon is a knife, um, of course, I'm talking about legally carrying a concealed weapon, as I have done for many, many years. Um, one of the people that I've been following on the Internet... Um, a guy named Jeff who has a channel I believe it's called Cutlery Lover um, young guy and he I don't know how long he has had his concealed carry permit but he evidently has that and he just did a video and he was talking about an incident that he got into and I think the video is basically entitled something about road rage or something and the gist of the story was, guys, that he was driving, uh, and again, please go watch his video because I may be leaving some things out. I really want you to watch it and tell me your opinions of it. But um, he was basically leaving, I don't know whether it's a shopping center or a strip mall, I think he said strip mall, and he was in a parking spot, and the parking lot in this mall area or strip mall area was apparently very, very busy. Um, and there was a line of cars kind of blocking the lane that he wanted to back out into uh, to go on his way, which is something we probably all do on a daily basis at some point in our lives. Um, so I guess he had his hand kind of over the seat and he's looking to back out and he noticed that there was a spot. There was now in the long line of cars a section where he felt he could pull his car out um, and get into that spot and then be on his way. And he noticed there was a pickup truck, kind of, or a truck, I think he said. I'm assuming it's a pickup truck. Um, kind of stopped. Maybe he wasn't really paying attention. And that's why this gap opened up. So Jeff felt that he could back out. He put his blinker on to let everybody know what he was doing. And he proceeded to back out to get into that spot in the line of traffic, which was basically at a semi standstill in the parking lot. And apparently the gentleman behind him with his wife and children in the car, in the truck, um, saw what he was doing and basically sped up to try to catch up, not to let Jeff in with his car. Um, which is, we've all seen obnoxious people doing stupid stuff like that for whatever reason, you know, the Napoleon complex or whatever. The story kind of takes a turn for me at this point. And mind you, Jeff is carrying his handgun, as he describes. He's carrying a neck knife around his neck. And he see, made a comment that he has other knives strategically in his car. And he, but he did his thing. He backed out. And the guy came up to try to block him. And Jeff reached his hand out the window uh, and gave the guy the finger. And I guess from his description, he was now in line and he began to drive through the parking lot to exit this parking lot and go about his business. And apparently this guy in the pickup truck went flying around him and kind of went down the side of the, uh, the way he's describing it, down in the mall somehow, basically trying to catch up with uh, Jeff Cutlery Lover in his car and finally caught up with him toward the end of this parking lot and kind of skidded right in front of his car about an inch, uh, as he describes, I believe, in front of his car and stops and proceeds to get out of his truck. Mind you, his children and his wife are in the car. And he gets out and he, scar he starts to basically let Jeff have it using all kinds of profanity and whatnot. And Jeff uh, kind of decided to de-escalate somewhat the situation and 
basically tell him, look, why did you do what you did? I'm trying to back out. I've got my blinker on, this and that. And he said, why'd you give me the finger? I've got my wife and kids in the car. And Jeff said something like, well, if you have your wife and the kids in the car, why are you acting like an asshole and all this other stuff? And they went back and forth, back and forth. And Jeff describes at the end of it, the guy is really pretty much close to his door, and Jeff feels that he noticed this guy's, Jeff felt that the guy noticed his neck knife and kind of changed his demeanor, and basically at that point it kind of de-escalated, and the guy got back in his truck, and the whole thing was over. Now the video is a lot longer than that, and I encourage you, go watch Jeff's video, and I will link it in my description. The problem that I have with it, guys, is, and, and I, I, and I think Jeff kind of alludes to it in the video that he probably shouldn't have given the guy the finger. And Jeff, you're right. You escalated that situation to a dangerous level. And my opinion is this. If you're going to be carrying every day like I do a gun, you have to live up to the standard of a person that carries a gun. Unfortunately, our society, and you know it, everyone knows it, looks down on people like me and people like you who decide to carry this tool around um, known as a handgun or a knife or whatever the situation is. We have to be different. I know the Second Amendment doesn't say we have to be different. That's not what the Second Amendment is about, but it is about perception. This gun does not give you any more of a license to be an asshole like that guy was to Jeff. We have to really carry ourselves in a positive, respectful, and adult way. Now, Jeff does go on in the video and say that, you know, just because I have a gun doesn't mean I'm going to pull it on the guy. And, and if I'm getting in a fist fight with him, I'll take my gun off and throw it on the ground and I'll fight with the guy. The problem is it shouldn't have escalated to that to begin with. There are people in this world who are just cocky assholes. And frankly, I think Jeff came off like a cocky asshole in this situation. Okay, A gun does not give us muscles. A gun is there to protect ourself, our family, our friends, our property. That is what it is there for. And when we carry a gun, we have to do everything we can to avoid any kind of a situation. Because let me tell you something, that could have been some guy, he could have reported it to the police. Next thing you know, you're getting pulled over, you're getting searched. I don't care if you have a permit or not. They're going to be tearing apart your car. You're going to have to be detained there while they go through this mess. When we carry a gun, we have to go under the radar, in my humble opinion. And I have a real problem with it. And I'm not just picking on Jeff, guys. I see this a lot in different forums on the Internet, Facebook forums about, oh, I've got a gun, and I'm going to shoot you in the face if you come up and do this or do that. I don't know whether it's just younger people. I'm about 50 years old. I'll be 50 this month. It is now uh, April 2016. I'll be 50 on April 28, 2016. I've been around guns since I was, geez, 12, 13 years old, living in Bronxville, New York. I, maybe I have a different perspective. One of the big problems, I think, guys, is there is a lack of training for people that are interested in getting their concealed carry permit. And by the way, I think everybody should have an option to get a concealed carry permit, period. I am not bashing gun owners. I am a gun owner. I've got tons of guns. I carry a gun every single day. I carry a gun in my house. I carry a gun any place I am legally allowed to carry a gun. Okay, so get that out of your mind. But I think there is a serious lack of training in this country for people who want to carry guns. And unfortunately, I think there's people that carry guns for the wrong reason. And what that does and what makes me so upset about it is when stupid stuff like this happens, thank God it didn't escalate. And I don't believe Jeff would ever do it again. I think he's a great guy. But it illustrates a problem. If that would have escalated into something worse, and Jeff, even if he didn't use his handgun, let's say he took his neck knife out and the guy was coming in the window at him, grabbed his neck, and, and he took that neck knife and, and stuck him right in the uh, forearm with it. Now we've opened up a whole new level of a mess 
it would have been televised, it would have been on Jeff's local TV, it would have been in the local newspapers, and that is nothing but fuel for the liberal fire to get rid of guns and weapons in this country. So I am not suggesting that people should not carry guns, but I am suggesting that people need more training. And I can tell you, I live in the state of Delaware, and I know what I went through to get a concealed carry permit, and it was a freaking joke. And I had one of the best instructors in Delaware for a concealed carry permit program, and it was a solid two-day program, but the first day was a complete waste. We watched a bunch of stupid videos about the law and about what to do if somebody's coming after you and so forth. And the second day, we spent four or five hours on the range shooting targets and doing some basic things, uh, how to holster a gun, basic stuff we've been doing for years and years. And then we filled out our paperwork. And of course, Delaware, if you're not familiar with it, Delaware is not a shell carry state, it's a may carry state, meaning we have to submit all that paperwork to the judge, and the judge has to decide whether we're worthy of a gun. So after about a three or four month period of time, you get your license in the mail or you get rejected. The point I'm trying to make is there was nothing in there in those programs about living with a gun. And that is an important topic, living with this gun that you're going to be carrying. The responsibility of having a gun. The responsibility, if I take someone's life, what that means to the rest of my life. Not only from a religious standpoint, if you're a religious person, but also from an economic standpoint, fighting lawyer or lawyers and court fees, and just being known in your neighborhood as the guy that shot this person in a parking lot for doing something stupid that could have absolutely been avoided. And by the way, my program, which I thought was horrible, my program is the pro one of the best programs in Delaware. There was, at the same time we were there doing our shooting on that Sunday, there's another guy that showed up, another instructor, quote instructor, that showed up with two or three other men who were going through their shooting program, and all they did is they rapid-fired at the target, they pulled their gun out of the holster and rapid-fired at the target from like three feet away, they wasted like 100 rounds in 20 minutes, and they were gone. This is a real problem in our country. Yeah, we have the right to carry a gun, but we don't have the right to be an asshole when we're carrying a gun. We need to avoid situations. The gun does not give us what I call the beer muscles to get into a confrontation. If somebody uh, goes after our manhood a little bit, as Jeff put it, our manhood, our testosterone, and by the way, Jeff made it seem like all men are like this, which is total trash. If someone comes at us and threatens our family, that's a different story. When some dickhead is in his pickup truck with his wife and kids acting like an asshole, pull into the spot, you didn't do anything wrong, keep your mouth shut, keep your hands in the window, maybe wave at the guy, and be on your merry way. Don't escalate this stuff into something that could be deadly or dangerous for you and even the guy's kids in the car. If you knew the guy had kids in the car, that's even worse. Can you imagine if you would have shot the guy in front of his, his kids and his wife or stabbed him in the arm in front of his kids and wife? No, this has to stop. These are just my opinions, guys. Take them for what they're worth, and I would love your comments below. If you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm wrong, please tell me. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. But I encourage you, watch Jeff's video. And Jeff, if you ever watch this, I am not saying you're a bad guy. I love your channel. I just have a problem with that one uh, aspect, that one video you did. And I feel passionate enough about it that I had to make a statement about it. Because I don't want other young people who are carrying guns, who don't have a lot of years' experience with guns, to end up in a situation like that and either end up a statistic or end up in jail. Okay, we have enough problems trying to survive, trying to not survive, but trying to keep the Second Amendment alive and well. There is an onslaught in this country to destroy gun ownership, period. You know it, and I know it. Anybody in the gun culture knows it, and we need to do our best to preserve it. And the final suggestion I want to give before I wrap this video up is this, guys. Get training from qualified individuals 
Learn to use the gun. Learn to respect the gun. There are plenty of training companies out there, depending on where you live. There's training environments for whatever you're looking for. If you're into the tactical training, there's tactical training. If you're into uh, self-defense training, there is self-defense training. Okay, They're all over the place. I'm not going to sit here and spout out any names. Just go to YouTube and do a search for handgun training. And you will find school after school after school. Do your research. Find out who you think is reputable, what their problems are, what student reviews say, and go get training. But also, guys, in my opinion, training with the handgun is not enough. You should get some physical self-defense training if you're going to carry a gun. Because I'd rather get in a fist fight with somebody than I would ever pulling a gun on that person. You should know how to defend yourself in all different aspects of self-defense. The gun is the last resort. The knife is the last, absolutely the last resort. Doesn't mean we shouldn't carry one. I want everybody, if they are sane enough to carry a gun, but they should be trained. I encourage you, go get some physical training, work out, stay healthy, learn to fight with your fists, and there are even training programs that will give you both aspects. They will give you the aspects of using what God gave you, your fists, your elbows, your knees, whatever you need to get that person off of you. And in the same training class, they will teach you, okay, what happens when you're at the end of your rope and you're about to die? You feel your life is actually going to be taken away from you. You pull the gun and you do what you're supposed to do and you live through the consequences of that action. That's all I'm saying. Guys, again, please give me your comments. I'd love to hear it. Please go watch Jeff's video. Subscribe to Jeff's channel. He's an awesome guy. He makes great videos. But I really want comments. I want to understand what everybody else thinks about this. This is Tim from God, Guns, and Good Times. Not a very fun video today, but a video nonetheless that I think needed to be made. Hey, guys, if you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed to my channel, and if you're watching this on Facebook, Please go over to my YouTube channel. For some reason, Facebook won't allow you to subscribe to me unless you go over to YouTube. Click on the video, go over to YouTube, and subscribe to me. Comment on my video in YouTube. Share my video. Share my video in Facebook. I really appreciate all of the uh, support that I'm getting on my brand new channel. Guys, have an awesome day. Don't forget every day. Say a prayer for this country we live in because God knows we all need it. God bless America.